We're back. We have no books still, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. We need information. Why don't you give me a rundown on this town's history, please? Our town is very old. Old even by pre-war standards. Much of what it was in its pre-war days has still survived. This is as old as dinosaurs. This town was heavily steeped in tradition. With a strong emphasis on secrecy and seclusion. That you don't say. Historically, past residents were known for lashing out at anyone who would threaten their way of life. One major example was when the steel magnate Richard Bronson was fought by the town when trying to expand into the Darkwood region. Oh yeah? The town's people vehemently opposed it, claiming that it was encroaching upon areas considered to be sacred. Once a steel mill was finally built, its <laughs> workers faced a constant barrage of harassment and threats. Yeah, no, because they were not wanted. This kept escalating. Until one day, several of the mill's workers died of unknown causes. They got hit in the head with bricks. Shortly after, Bronson silently shut the place down. The town eventually developed a fear-inspiring reputation and became a place that outsiders avoided. But keep in mind, that is all just history now. Weren't these traditions and behaviors tied into the town's religion? Yes, Darkwood Falls has always been a religious town, but not for any religion you might be aware of. Hinduism? You see, Zoonastrianism. There are unique places in this region. Places that emanate a strange energy and an otherworldly violet glow. Radiation. Our ancestors worshipped those places and felt as though there was some kind of special knowledge within them just waiting to be deciphered. Cherenkov radiation. Much of the town's traditions were formed around that worship. Hmm. So, you want to tell me where those places are? I mean, I'm not going to go to them so I can avoid them, so I can not go to them. You might want to try asking Sarah about that. She always been the more religious type than me. Oh yeah, not a believer? All right. Well, you've been very helpful. Thank you. No problem at all. Best of luck to you. I hope you can find Molly and Layla. The Sarah woman might have more info. <laughs> that, uh, duh, that actually kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Hello, Sarah. Um, yeah, this is definitely a uh, Twin Peaks reference. Uh, what is? This, this whole mod is a Twin Peaks reference. What is Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks is a television show? <laughs> yeah. Um, it was like a spooky, weird, surrealist television show. Uh, because that's a picture of... Um, One of the main actresses? That's a picture of Laura Palmer. <laughs> All right. From Twin Peaks. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely a, uh... An homage. Yeah. You're with the investigator, right? Yes. I'm worried near to death for my husband. I hope that you could still save him. Leland, yes. One of the characters on Twin Peaks is named Leland. <laughs> so this is definitely a reference. Yeah. Is there anything you can tell us about your husband who is a reference? As in something that could help you find him? Or anything what he looks like? Needless to say, I would have told you if I knew even the slightest hint. Tragically, I don't. My poor husband, who would never even think to torture me in this way, vanished. Would you happen to know of any of the sacred locations in Darkwood? I do happen to know of one. I've actually visited this place before, as a girl. In the northwest, you'll find a large deadfall. If you climb over it, you'll find what you're looking for. Do... You think my husband could be there? I'm not sure. Well, if so, I guess I shouldn't waste your time any longer. Well, if no one's checked, then- Please, find him. We are on the case! On the case! It doesn't really sound like the lead investigator has done a whole lot of investigating. He tried, but sucked. Yeah, he's not good at it. Let's report back to him and let him know what we found. And let him know that he sucks. <laughs> yes. And also that we stole his hat. He'll figure that one out. My head is cold and I don't understand why. What do you have for me? There's sacred locations nearby. We're gonna climb over a dead tree to find it. 
with a history like that, I can definitely see how the disappearances could have a religious connection. <laughs> so by all means, go to this place. You'll have to go alone, however. I need to stay here and keep an eye on everyone. And to figure out whose blood this is. Before you head out, make sure you're armed. <laughs> it sure wouldn't help things if you went and died on us. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I'm going on my own and that you're not coming with me while you look over your notes from third grade math class. <laughs> That's why it looks like the Twin Peaks. <laughs> That's why it looks like the Twin Peaks font because it's this this whole mod this, is it's, uh, like an homage to Twin yeah. Peaks. We should take care of that bear now. Uh, you see a bear. Oh, sure. Yeah, see? Um, if you attack him, you might alert any nearby bears. Oh, that's fine. Ow! Get him, giant blue man! Fuck you up. This grenade launcher doesn't seem to be super effective against bears! You know, it's not good at close range. You know, I was really excited about this KS-23, but I think the KS-23 might be a better collectible than a, uh than an actual useful uh, weapon. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say anything, but considering its history, I did doubt its efficacy. I mean, it was originally designed to suppress prison riots, so probably not great at killing <laughs> giant fucking bears. <laughs> yeah, not gonna stop you from trying though. Oh, more bears. Laser, 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 laser. Wow, okay, the laser does work. You are technically bringing light into a dark place. Woo! Oh, there's the deadfall. It's kind of hard to see. Everything is gray. Yeah. Well, turning on my light doesn't really seem to help a whole lot. Hooray, now everything's a lighter gray. I just gotta climb this deadfall here. Oh, I see a man. What? I... The fuck? The Nikola Tesla? <laughs> is that you? Is it another ghost? A stranger has appeared before me. Howdy. Leland, go home! Your wife misses you! Leland, I think I knew that man. No, that's you! Wait, did I? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. No, nothing matters at all. Oh, Leland's a nihilist. Que Ellipses, but with question marks! I have been somewhere else. I saw, I saw the end, the end of us all. The lights fading from the eyes of humanity. Cool. Blood Red Knight awaits us. A world drenched in sorrow and despair. How do we know the difference? Forget Darkwood, forget everything. Red Knight looms, ready. We have all failed. We have all failed. Leland, your wife misses you. Remember her, Sarah? You remember that? Sarah? Oh. Oh God. What happened? I don't know exactly. All I can remember was that a voice in the night told me to come here. I couldn't disobey. This voice kept talking to me, kept filling my mind with awful thoughts. Cool. Don't know why. How disembodied was but it? But it hurts. It's hurting me. Was it something over a PA system? Or is it in your head? You heard it through your fillings? Is somebody shouting through your window? I'm sorry, whoever you are. I get the feeling that I won't be living too much longer. Uh, why? Yeah, you seem kind of virile. You'll probably be around for a good long time. Yeah, why you say that? Are you about to get struck by lightning? My memories have been returning, and now I know that I am not meant to leave this place alive. I can feel it, too. My life being drained away. No, you're the master of your own destiny. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, why don't we just head on back? It's kind of you to be concerned, but I'm afraid there is no coming back for me. Can you remember any details about that night? I apologize, but I can't. All I can remember is a voice. A gentle voice. It whispered the command, 
and I obeyed. Man, woman, or robot? Truly, I am sorry. It's bigger than a bread box. Tell Sarah that I was so fortunate to have had such a lovely wife. <laughs> oh, eh, you did. Uh, well, Leland died. What the hell is this? Electric rocks. Touch. Death to you! How dare you! You're a bastard! Okay. I'm out of ideas. I tried shooting it, and uh, that didn't work. Mm. Well, let's report back to his wife. Give her the bad news. That's a weird-looking pauldron. How'd you get that gun stuck in you? <laughs> bad news! Might want to be sitting down for this. Have you gotten any closer to finding my husband? We did find Leland. But he isn't with you. I... Oh, God. I tried to prepare myself for this, but I still can't believe it. What happened? What happened to my husband? I don't know. He was in a manic state. He died in front of me, seemingly of cardiac arrest. What? And you didn't try to save him? You... We didn't have a defibrillator, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, where would I even get a defib? I'm sure you would have saved him if you could. So, he was in a manic state. Did he say anything to you? He said a lot of things. <laughs> uh, he said he loved you. I guess we'll leave it at that. Oh, my poor Leland. You have to find out who was behind this. He didn't deserve any of this. But I thank you for finding him. At least now, I can have some peace in knowing what happened. I promise I will do everything I can to avenge him. He was killed by his heart? We're gonna go kill his heart! No, we can't kill his heart. We have to kill God for designing a faulty heart. Thank you, and... Good luck. Alright, we're gonna leave you to cry now. What? Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Sad music. This music is from Twin Peaks! <laughs> Sometimes my arms spin back... Is it like a Twilight Zone kind of show? Uh, kind of. There's a, It's a consistent story. Oh, it's serialized? Yeah, it's serialized. It's a good show. I kind of have a hard time getting into it, but it's. I, I have that with a lot of David Lynch shows. What do you have for me? Still bald, I see. So we found Leland. Um, he got attacked by his heart. Did you just make that up? No, I guess you couldn't. You probably aren't creative enough to make up something like that. Oh my god! <sighs> well, that's disappointing. I was hoping we could save some lives here. Well, I'll suppose I update you on my end. I was able to learn of an additional sacred location. Thing is, the mayor has the place locked up, and she's the only one with the key. Needless to say, that raises some suspicion now that there's a connection between these places and the victims. We don't know that. If you can get that key from her and find significant enough evidence inside that cavern, then it would be damning. Of course, you'll need to maintain the appearance of ignorance when asking for the key. Can do! Most likely she'll give it to you and have some form of ambush ready, so be prepared. Spoiler alert, man. As usual, I need to stay here to keep an eye on everyone. Good luck. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. You have fun sitting around with your thumb up your ass. Between Leland being dead and that severed arm we found, things ain't looking so good for this gal. Not really. Holly might be dead. Hello again. Need anything? Mike and I would like to poke around in the ancient cavern. I don't suppose you have the key, do you? Oh, so you have learned of that place? Now, what would you think is in there? Maybe your missing daughter. Well... Rocks? I suppose it isn't my concern. But I wonder... I want to look at the stalactites. Why should I bother giving it to you? Because we're looking for your daughter who has gone missing and we want to check every place. Fine. Here's the key. Enjoy your visit to the cavern. All right, I'm sure we will. All right, laser shotgun is definitely charged. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this place is weird. Yeah, 
She's dead. Wrapped in plastic. What? What? That's from that's from the beginning of Twin Peaks. Oh. <laughs> no, there was not a super mutant called Dagger in Twin Peaks. Did which you... is a damn shame. I think it might have spiced up that show. Maybe they would have had a few more seasons if they did. They had several seasons. The show was very well received. But it might have had more. But we'll never know because it never had Dagger. Oh, there's a church over there. Churches are never bad places to go in Twin Peaks. <laughs> is this perhaps the sacred location? It may well be. Creepy. It looks dilapidated, as most churches around here would be. Ah, we can't get into the church basement. So that's not the sacred location? What the? Ah! No, Night Soccer, we're friends! We're friends! Save us some time and just kill yourself. Graveyard, all right. Ooh, a GSH-18! Another GSH-18! Oh, well, I guess we could trade them back in at the store. <laughs> Where do you get those guns? Uh, not the graveyard. <laughs> I wish this had the suppressor on the end of it. Yeah, can't get what you want, though. Well, you know, Mike, sometimes you might find that you get what you need. Is that another reference? It's a reference to the song, You Can't Always Get What You Want. Come oh. on, man. All right, sorry. Y you know, when they buried the weapons with the people in those graves was it a storage spot for you yeah it was no mike every grave is a storage spot for me i have a shovel I... the scent of death is near <laughs> yeah he's kind of dead we are going to wish you died doing ah! these guys are kind of tough when you're dead i'm gonna blow the head off your corpse and sing about it you hear me you promised you wouldn't sing this has to be the sacred location. Yeah, it looks very sacred. Bread 3, standing by. Better hope this stealthy shit works, because we look like a bunch of jackasses if anyone sees what we're doing. Ooh, creepy. Someone's playing a very haunting melody. That's also from Twin Peaks. Hey, hey buddy, how's it going? Ah! Not friendly, not friendly, got it. Sneaky boys, calm down! Bad dog! Snake thing! That snake thing! So you didn't watch the entire series of uh, that show? No, I'm. What the f <laughs> fuck? Mystery box. A study on the glow. There are several locations in the region of Darkwood that astound and defy logical explanation. Okay. They are the areas of the violet glow. Ooh. When one walks amongst the glow, they are instilled with a sense of profound importance and a connection with worlds outside of our own. Whoa! It is believed that long ago, the residents of Darkwood Falls built their religion as a means of understanding the glow, whether or not they achieved their desired enlightenment remains a well, guarded secret. Huh. Uh, I think it's just swamp gas. <laughs> just purple fireflies stuck in stasis. No, it's just swamp gas. It's swamp gas. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. I found a bunker door. Okay. Ooh. Um... Okay, so that's a, that, there's a cattle prod, a ripper, combat knife, sledgehammer, a couple chainsaws. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bladed and blunt instruments. Looking upon all that I've done, by the end will I have saved anyone? I used to feel nothing. Now, my feelings have returned, and they are nothing but despair. The only thing I can do now is wait for the end. Okay, then. Oh, uh, you dropped your earthworm. Oh, that's an intestine. Nope, that is uh, that is Molly. Molly is dead. Oh no! Who could have seen this coming? I, I was actually kind of hoping we could rescue her, but yeah, she dead. Um, yep. There's a mutilated arm. Well, mm -hmm. it's not hers. Right. Oh, that means the bony arm we found wasn't hers either. I mean, oh. Uh, God, there are a lot of dead people around here then. Yikes. I think Boris might be interested to hear about this. 
What did you find? I found out it was a hoax. Nothing's nothing's going on. Yeah, there's nothing wrong here. You know, I wonder if Sharenkov radiation can occur in, like, fog. You think the mayor might be involved? I am pretty sure. What, what gives you reason to suspect her? She's being weird. Yeah, but that's the norm for this town. <laughs> that's... That's true. A lot of mushrooms growing in this place. Lots of mushrooms. Right. Are any of these portabella? I could eat a portabella right now. Yeah, do you just pick up random mushrooms that you find growing and eat them? No, yeah. but sometimes I'll dig up wild wild garlic cloves and eat those. <laughs> yeah, but not mushrooms because those would be dangerous. When you're hunting for morels, be sure to always look on the north side of trees. I guess the moral of the story is to check the compass rose. You know, moss growing on the north sides of trees isn't true. Yeah, they just grow where there's generally the least amount of light. Yeah, which I kind of already suspected it was an old wives' tale. I suppose it's plausible, just not like... It's rooted in truth, but you probably shouldn't use moss to navigate. Speaking of things that were dispelled, uh, I used to make jokes about the... The dingo eating a baby, Australian thing. Yeah. I just thought it was a funny joke. Haha. Ha. But uh, it's actually a thing that happened. Yeah, a woman's baby actually got eaten by a dingo. And I it, think it was like a long protracted court battle. Yeah, that she lost and got sentenced to life in prison for. And then they found out that her baby did actually get eaten by a dingo. Yeah, can you imagine that? You lost your child in a horrific way. And then the government doesn't believe you and sentences you to life in prison. Yeah. And then your plea becomes mocked by culture? It, it's just, it's, it, it was a miscarriage of justice. It really was. I mean, it's something like what, what is it, like 10% of people that are on death row are probably completely innocent? <laughs> probably why uh, we shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, even if it's 1%, that's too fucking high. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's report back to Morris. Oh, Captain, my Captain! What do you have for me? Molly dead. I figured that's what you would find. And now we can absolutely be certain that the mayor's behind it. Can we, though? I don't know if you noticed when you came back, but the bitch managed to elude me somehow. We haven't been to her house yet. Guilty conscience, I suppose. We're gonna have to figure out where she's hiding. Before, I swiped something from her house that might just help. Oh, yeah? This is why no one likes you, because you steal shit! <laughs> A key labeled St. Anthony. I can only assume that this is referring to the name of the nearby church. It could very well be where she is hiding. Oh, we just passed that. Okay. God only knows what that place has in store for us. Oh, you're coming with us. Awesome. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I give him his hat back? No, screw him. All right. Winners get hats and losers continue being bald. Kid, you smell like hot dogs and onions. Has anyone ever told you that? Probably not, which is why you smell like hot dogs and onions. <laughs>